Hi, so I made tank steering for mobile and it turned out way better than I expected. It's not even lagging as bad as I thought it would. Here it is working on my phone, you can obviously steer left and right, go backwards and forward. But it might not work on some smaller tanks, even if you attach it wirelessly, it doesn't turn very well because the new wheels are really heavy, so I don't think I can do anything about that. And it also works on PC and consoles without changing anything. And all of it is basically just a gearbox to give the correct spinning direction based on the new wheel's inputs. Here is a list of what you will need. And you need all of the tools. Well, it is possible without trowel, but it's way harder. And here is the tutorial for it. Make sure you built this gear correctly, because the entire mechanism works on it. Use the front wheels and not the back ones because they don't turn. Turn the following gears by 22 and a half degrees to fix the teeth intersected. Place these hinges carefully, enter two in the move so you can center them easier when placing. and use 0.9 and push them into the gears and yes, the yellow part has to be sticking out. Just connect all of these rods with a big piece at the bottom. Now select the new wheels and turn on reverse spin. Turn off collision. You can test which wheel speed and torque works best when you attach it to a tank. And now, we just have to connect some of the gears with ropes. Do exactly as I do. I will color the output for left track dark red and gray for the right track. And change all of the rope lengths to 24. And the tank steer nig mechanism is done. If you want to move it to different save files, then scale a plastic piece through all of it and save and reload it, then just fly to the waterfall and load the save file you want to attach it to. 
If your tank has enough space for this to fit directly on it, then just follow this tutorial for how to attach it on the tank. I just used a fly glitch here to move it to a save file with tank tracks. The gears get extended outwards, so I will attach the mechanism directly to the rod that gets pushed out. After you anchor everything, you can delete the plastic that was holding it together. And you can split the mechanism in half because there is no connection in between the sides. Now just connect the rods to the part of the tank. And then just reconnect the wheels to the driving seat of the tank. Connect the gears slash wheels to the output of the steering mechanism and make sure red is for left track and gray is for the right track. And if your tank uses multiple wheels, then just do this. Connect it to one of them first and connect them all in between with ropes. Now just save and reload your tank and it should work. And it sure does work. And here it is on mobile. It's pretty responsive and the lag is not horrible. And here's what you need to do if you want to connect it without the mechanism being on the tank. But for some reason it doesn't turn very well if it's connected like this. I still recommend putting the mechanism above your tank or something. It can't be under the tank because gears need collision to work. I will still show how you need to connect it like this. And when placing the steering mechanism, make sure the tank is oriented the same way, so that the red parts on the mechanism are on the left side, and also the tank's left track is on the same side. If it would be rotated wrongly like this, then the controls will be reversed. Disconnect the old wheels and turn their torque to lowest, or you can just replace them by hinges. And connect the mechanism wheels to the tank's driving seat. 
Now we basically have to do this, but we have to glitch the rope to make it longer or else the tank will have a really small range to drive. And they can't be connected here so we will move them in by 0.5. Now just follow what I do. You can move this up even more than a thousand to give it even more range. Now this is important. You have to place the first part of the rope on the top or cake will not stick to it. After you anchor the rope, you can delete the seat and cake. Also, it doesn't even need to be centered because the match rotation will still work. Now repeat the same thing for the left track rope. We need one more spring attached to the body of the tank. This one only has to be connected to the main body. You can delete the platform now, and just place one more rope here with match rotation off and 24 length, so the mechanism doesn't roll into the water accidentally. Now just save and reload, and it should work properly. Only the turning is slightly slower if you connect it externally like this. And here it is working on mobile. The next video will be tutorial for the big tracks. I know you guys really want them, so I will make a tutorial for them. And a big thanks to all of you for 1000 subscribers. It really means a lot to me. Thanks for watching.